everybody we are back with another review and today we're going to be checking out my favorite and if not the best charger from dewalt uh for your dewalt battery system so without further ado let's hop right into this review let's check out what we got going on so if you're into um, power tools and you have power tools around the house you're probably constantly charging your your 12 and 20 volt batteries even 18 volts if you're in certain lines um, but when it comes to dewalt specifically for the most part you get these uh, typical black chargers, which are going to be, um, this one even has it on the front. They're going to be your four amp charger. Uh, so to kind of compare amps and charging, your, your iPhone usually has a brick that has a 1.5 amp power charging ability. So this has four amps. So this new one that they came out with, it has six and it's powered by USB. So you can actually have uh, the unit with a cord and the power brick have it separate, just like um, a little bit more compact, maybe packable type charging for your DeWalt battery system. Something like this is like docking station. It's nice. I mean, on the back here, it even has a, your ability to you know, mount it to the wall if you want. Um, you know, docks nice for home. But what if you want to charge your batteries on the go? They have you know larger systems that do four to eight, six batteries. Uh, at a time, huge clunky things, the size of coolers pretty much. Um, and then they have the new fast charging system, which is this, but it's a yellow casing. It's still a dock, same size pretty much. Uh, it's got an internal fan cooler and that charges at an at eight uh, amp pace. So double this, it's a double the standard charger. And this one, this one, the DCB094, this one charges at you can see it right there, output six amp. So you're getting a six amp charge out of this, which is gonna be two more than your standard dock. And it's gonna be something that you can pack with you and take. So it's gonna be halfway between the fast charger and the standard charger. It's gonna be in between. So you're sacrificing maybe two more amps of charging that you would have with the fast charger by just using something like this, but you're also getting the portability and packability of having something like this. So we'll check this out and we'll check some of the batteries that it can go with. I mean, obviously this one does 12 and 20, so we'll check that out as well. Um, so as you can see here, where we got, there we go, the front, we got USB-C and then we got standard USB uh, type A port, which is awesome uh, because you can pretty much plug whatever into that. Now, this could be plugged in to the wall charging your battery and you can plug in a device here and charge your device as well so you could dual charge it um, the brick itself it has 65 watts of power so that's basically like a laptop charger the equivalent of a laptop charger and then it's paired with a 5 amp 100 watt cord so the cord can actually handle more watts than the brick can even put out, which is perfect. And then again, you have your little charger. Now a little Velcro strap, which we're gonna take off here. This is something that didn't come with it, but I just did it to keep it a little bit more tidy. So there is the cord right there. But your brick, if you check this out, it's basically one of these from DeWalt. This is the, what is this, DCB090. And you can do two USB devices on this one now, if you look at the output on this, boom, 1.5. So you're talking the same type of output that you'd get from an Apple brick. Um, and this is a little bit of an older model. This is one of the, the ones you basically hook up and tells you the meat, the battery reading on top. And then you can plug in your USB devices into there. So again, some older technology. And like I said, this is gonna be a little bit smaller, more compact, a little more packable. A little more versatile because you could charge your your battery and you can charge a device here so and then here's some pairings we got here is the 1.7 amp hour power stack on that which is a very common type um, here is the og if you know you know this is the 5 amp hour xr 20 volts very cool obviously Pairs up with that, just showing you kind of how they look. Let's check out one of the newer power stack. This is the five amp hour newer power stack battery. So 
me personally, when it comes to the little side note, when it comes to batteries, this is a five amp hour, this is a five amp hour, but this is a power stack. So this has a little bit different technology in it. Uh, this puts out more like an eight amp hour and this is just straight up, you know, a baseline five amp hour is what we're gonna say. Uh, this outperforms this one and marginally probably about an eight amp hour, I'd say. And then when it comes to the 1.7, uh, it's a little bit smaller and it's the size of a 1.7, but it, it outperforms, um, if not performs marginally better than the five amp hour in tests. I've seen uh, some definite different run throughs and drills for this. I mean, this is still one of my favorite batteries right here, the five amp hour XR from DeWalt, but this little 1.7 definitely puts out an equivalent or more compared to that. So if, you, if you're used to these, then snag one of these for sure. Um, here's one thing that it does not do. So let's check this out. Let's see what this thing does not do. Most, um, you know, docks or adapters, you can see this one does hook up with the 12 volt line. Um, you can see this one does say 12 and 20, so you can definitely hook up the 12, obviously. But this one does not receive does not receive 12. It is strictly a 20 volt max lithium ion um, connection right there. So uh, the rails are a little bit different to not receive the 12 volts, obviously, because it's got that higher uh, amperage. So they ended up isolating it to the 20 volt max for, uh, I'm gonna assume all the dedication for um, how they have the wiring under here as well to get the most. I think this says in one hour, it can charge a, a 60 volt, what was it, a nine amp? Nine amp hour, 60 volt max flex volt battery. One of the huge batteries that they have, I don't even have one of those. Um, right now it's like, I mean, it's massive. It's something that you'd probably put with like a rotary hammer drill or something, something crazy, uh, that you need lots of power with longevity, like a jackhammer basically. Um, or like a, uh, I would see a use case for that flex volt on a chainsaw, like a chainsaw for sure. Um, I mean, a base, a chop saw would probably be good for the flex volt, but most of those, I don't know, I'm not really toting around saws, so something like that i don't know if i'd be using this for that on a regular basis is really what i'm saying most of the time this is going to be charging this and we're talking maybe five to ten minutes depending on how dead the battery is it'll charge up one of these 1.7 uh power stacks so i do like how it, how it definitely gets in there it looks like it's it gives a little difficulty, but I like how it's how you know it's in there. You know it's in there. You know it's firmly on the charger. You know it's locked in, if that makes sense. Um, so anyway, long story short, this is, in my opinion, probably the best solution for charging your Dewalt batteries. If you if you have a an ecosystem of batteries that you you're constantly charging, I mean, a dock is real nice for home. But if you're if you're on the move or doing something in, in different places, you're bringing your power tools with you. This is a great solution for you to be able to charge your batteries. And this is also a great solution to charge at home because again, you're getting six amp hour or six amps out of this and four out of the standard dock. Unless you got like the fast charger, this is still gonna be better than this in regards. It's gonna be one third better than this in regards to uh, how much how much power it's delivering to the battery. So anyway, just let me know down in the comments below what you think of this DeWalt 20 volt DCB094 charger with the USB C cable and the brick. Is this something that you would use to charge your batteries when you're on the go or at home? Or do you stick solely with the dock style chargers? So yeah, let me know down in the comments below. And if you like this video, subscribe for more and have a great rest of your day.